Today I've come to South London to meet Sky McAlpine, who is a food writer and a Sunday Times columnist. George Northwood is coming over very sweetly to cut my hair, which has not been cut in months. What I love about George and his whole aesthetic is attractive and sexy and beautiful and glamorous, but it's also not done and it doesn't feel like it's too labour intensive to maintain. Food is one of my pleasures in life. I'm hoping she might rustle up something for me. I've tried to trade up on a bowl of warm carrot soup for a snazzy haircut. Hi, Hi Sky, oh, how are it's you? It's so good to see you, come on in. Oh my, God. I, I, I have never seen a spread like this. <laughs> it's Christmas come early. I had a shoot earlier today, so it's like Christmas. So this is our living room. Oh wow, a piano. Yes. I play. Oh my God, will I, you play something? But, mm, mm, I'd be I need my <laughs> music, I need my music. I will do next time. <laughs> This, this is... is my study. This is where I work and where I write. Is this where you wrote your cookbook? So my last cookbook I wrote mostly from bed. <laughs> but... Perfect, what better place? <laughs> so I thought since you've trekked all the way to South London, I do supper for us. Carrot soup with a bit of cinnamon and then I thought I'd make soda bread. Plant-based and quick and easy right. is great. I just think if you start with really good raw ingredients, you don't need to do very much to them. I'm the same with hairdressing. It's about simple cut and yeah, let's talk about your hair. My hair hasn't had a haircut since before lockdown, since January. Oh wow. Um, I'm really bad at blow drying and managing it. If there is a magical cut that can kind of make it look like it has a bit of shape and okay. healthy and happy. So that is completely doable because my approach is about having a good cut that doesn't need lots of maintenance and no matter what you're doing it's just going to fall into place and look great. Most women are juggling so many different things in their lifestyle, working, children and hair, they need a cut that's going to be really easy to manage. Let's have a look. So today, the plan with Skye's hair is to give it a good trim to keep that length because she likes this longer look. She's going to give it some nice shape around the front and also we're going to pull it up and slice into it just to give it a little bit of body and movement throughout and make it quite easy sort of wash and go hair. So how often should you have your hair cut if you're trying to keep it long? Uh, 12 weeks I would say. Like, 12, three, three months. Three months That's what's happened with lockdown. I had a couple of clients that I kept saying, let's grow it, and they go, no, it can't grow it, can't grow it. And they've come back to me after lockdown, and they're like, I've grown my hair. And I said, that's because you've just left it alone. And... Oh, wow! <laughs> that looks amazing! I swear it looks longer than it did before, even though you've cut it. It's because you've got these shorter bits, you know these bits that are framing your face here? That's kind of given you like a point of difference between the shape at the front and the length. Oh it's my nice. God, I love it, thank you so much. I don't know what George has done, he's clearly some kind of like hair magician, and it definitely feels kind of just like more effortless and more relaxed, a bit more dreamy. It's been so much fun, it's been really lovely like getting to know each other, it's been so nice having him over. It was as great as I expected to meet Skye. She's so wonderful. Her cooking was amazing. An autumnal night with warm bread with butter, I mean, it doesn't get better, does it? <laughs> what I've realised about doing hair at home is what's really nice is entering the person's world. It gives me a deeper understanding of the person that they are. Very, very, very spoiling to have my hair cut. I'll definitely be casting this by trying to find as many chefs as I can to do their hair in exchange for food.